Hi, I'm Rachel Gray. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some braised short ribs. Maybe you've seen on a lot of cooking shows, they'll say, okay, we're going to make short ribs. Like there's something super spectacular and they really can be. I've got two packages of short ribs here. It's about four pounds and these are really nice short ribs. You can see that they're really well marbled and they're going to have the bone in. The bone in ones are going to give you a lot more flavor than the boneless. First thing I need to do is salt and pepper my ribs and sear them in a pan. I'm gonna use a cast iron pan today. So if you don't have a cast iron Dutch oven, you can just use a regular um, big pot as long as it has a lid to cover it for the oven. I'm just gonna open my short rib packs and then I'm going to salt and pepper them. I like kosher salt. Under high heat, I'm just gonna add a little teeny bit of oil, maybe a tablespoon, and I'm gonna let that get really hot so I get a nice sear when I put these in the pan. So now that my oil is hot, I'm just gonna take my ribs and I'm gonna put them the salted side down into the oil. And you can hear them just sizzle away. And I wanna leave them alone for a minute because they get a nice crust on them. Once they have a nice brown color on them, then I'm just gonna go ahead and turn them over to get the other side. While our short ribs are searing, I'm gonna go ahead and get the vegetables ready. So the first thing I need is an onion, and I'm just gonna cut my onion into a fairly large dice. So just a couple of strips that way, a few this way. After I chop my onion, and then I'm gonna take one jalapeno and I'm going to take out the ribs and the seeds. That's where the heat lives. Just right down the side. I'm gonna just scoop it out like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chop my jalapeno. I know this isn't in my blog with my short ribs, but I'm gonna add a little red pepper as well. And I'm, again, I'm just gonna make big chunks. And those are the vegetables I need. Calls for two um, garlic cloves. And I just have like one Mondo clove here. Peel that paper right off. And it's too big to fit into my press, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. So now my vegetables are ready, and so is my meat. It's done searing. I'm gonna take it out of the pan. And I'll just put these aside for a minute. And then I'm going to saute my vegetables in this hot grease. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and then just kinda of let them cook down a little. Now that our vegetables are softened, we can go ahead and put the garlic in. I'm just gonna to try to get this on top of the vegetables so it doesn't fry immediately. And before I stir that in, I'm gonna add a few more spices. I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger, and I just use these ginger cubes that are in the freezer. Um, they're just in portions of one teaspoon, and since it's a tablespoon, I'm going to use three. They just pop right out, and then I put them back in the freezer. I'm going to use one teaspoon of dried thyme, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I like to get the whole nutmeg, and then just, I use a microplane to grate it. Now that I have all that in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a stir. It smells so good right now, I can't tell you. Then I'm gonna use some hot-blooded orange marmalade, so it's orange marmalade with a little bit of jalapeno in it. The company that makes this is called Pepper Lane, and they're a Utah company. Um, or you could just use orange marmalade, and you need about a half of a cup. Oh, the sweet and the spicy, ooh, it's gonna be so good. Once the marmalade is melted, I'm gonna add a half of a cup of chicken stock. And lastly, two tablespoons of soy sauce. And that's it, that's all I need. That's gonna be my braising liquid. Now, you're gonna say this is not a lot of liquid. If you use an instant pot or uh, a steam oven, which I'm gonna use, this is enough. If not, if you're gonna put it in the oven, you might have to add a little bit of chicken stock to it. Now I'll just take my short ribs and just nestle them right down into the braising liquid. Now all that's left to do is braise these. Um, if I'm going to use my regular oven, I'm just gonna turn it on bake. 
I'm gonna cover it with the lid and I'm going to cook it for 300 degrees for about three hours. Now you may need to check um, about halfway through to make sure you have enough braising liquid still in your pot. It does have a tendency to evaporate. So um, you might wanna add a little bit more chicken stock if your braising liquid is getting low. I'm going to cook these in my steam oven. I've got a Wolf steam oven and I'm going to go ahead and put them in without the lid on. I'm going to use the convection human mode and I'm going to turn the temperature down to 250 degrees and cook it for two and a half hours. It's a little bit faster in the steam oven and also I won't lose any of my braising liquid even without a lid. I'm gonna put my short ribs in the oven right now and I'll see you back here in about two and a half hours. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. I've taken my short ribs out. If you look at them, they're pulling away from the bone. I just have this beautiful, nice tender meat underneath. And I just use this. This is a fat separator and it's got a little strainer on the top. So I just take the remaining braising liquid that I've got in my Dutch oven and I'm just going to pour that into my fat separator. And as I let that sit, the fat is gonna the float onto the top and the juice is gonna be on the bottom. And then I've got my vegetables on the top. So what I'm gonna do is just pour a little bit of the juice down onto the short ribs. And I can go ahead and empty the rest of it into a small pitcher or a gravy boat and then just serve it alongside. Then I take the vegetables on the top and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those over each one. And then I'll just sprinkle a little chopped parsley. That gives it a nice fresh look. And there you have it, our short ribs are done. They're easy to put together. They cook low and slow in the oven. They just fall apart tender. They've got that beautiful sauce with them that's sweet yet savory. They pair really great with some garlic mashed potatoes. Your family's really gonna love it. It's top chef quality in your own home. You can find this recipe and over 200 other recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. If you wanna be notified when I post a new video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.